Iconia chrysippes, more commonly known as the water hyacinth, is a free-floating perennial aquatic plant which sprouts striking lavender flowers when in bloom. Water hyacinth has a notorious reputation as a pest in the greater part of the world, except in its native South America, where natural predators voraciously keep its rapid growth in check. Water hyacinth currently has a presence in numerous countries, as it is typically introduced as an ornamental plant. Once water hyacinth becomes released into the natural environment, it can begin to spread quickly, and if left unchecked, it has the potential to cause major issues for other plants, animals, and humans nearby. One such example has unfolded over the past few decades in the Wanam Gulf, which is located in the Kenyan portion of Lake Victoria. It is estimated that water hyacinth was first introduced into the Gulf in the late 1980s. Since then, the most severe water hyacinth outbreaks have clogged up major parts of the shoreline, making access to fishing grounds next to impossible for communities which depend on the fishery industry to fuel their economies and feed their families. Water hyacinth also serves as a breeding ground for snails carrying schistosomiasis, which is a devastating parasitic disease. Swimming, bathing, fishing, and doing domestic chores in water hyacinth infested waters expose humans to becoming a host to this parasite. Furthermore, thick, dense water hyacinth mats block sunlight to native aquatic species and deplete the water of oxygen which results in hypoxic conditions. As thick hyacinth mats decay, they release excess nutrients into the water which can fuel harmful algal blooms and further deplete the oxygen levels in the water. The introduction of biological control agents such as weevils and mites, which are known natural predators of the water hyacinth, have provided some relief, but no efforts thus far have managed to completely eradicate water hyacinth in the Wanam Gulf. This video describes the continuation of a project which started in the fall of 2015. During the previous term, an algorithm was generated using the Modified Normalized Difference Water Index, or MNDWI to extract non-water features over the Gulf. These results were developed into a time series of maps of aquatic vegetation to complement water resources management efforts by project partners at the NASA Severe Coordination Office, the NASA Severe Eastern and Southern Africa Hub, and the Regional Center for Mapping of Resources for Development, or RCMRD for short. During this term, the Lake Victoria Water Resources 2 team at Marshall Space Flight Center teamed up with the McCarey University Department of Geomatics and Land Management, in addition to SEVERE and RCMRD, in order to develop the Surface Aquatic Vegetation Detection Tool, or SAVDT. The SAVDT employs Python scripting to automatically download recent satellite data and apply the algorithm developed during the previous term in order to highlight areas where water hyacinth is likely to be present. This near-real-time tool utilizes data from the OLI sensor on the NASA Earth Observing Satellite Landsat 8, which collects imagery over the Wyandum Gulf every 16 days. This project also incorporated the use of data from the European Space Agency Sentinel-2 satellite. With a terminal resolution of 5 days, Sentinel-2 imagery in conjunction with Landsat 8 will allow our project partners to monitor water high CM blooms as near to real time as possible. We think that this developed project is going to support the activities that uh, Serbia has in Eastern and Southern Africa. This particular project we develop is going to complement the efforts that RCMRD has in Lake Victoria and uh, it's also going to provide more information to the end users that RCMRD has been working with.